Hey, what's the crack everybody and welcome to my video where I will be showing you how I managed to get the platinum trophy for Spongebob Cosmic Shake. And to be honest, this game feels more like a long Spongebob episode from the lines they have in it to the recognizable references that they have. So I'm made for a very fun game to platinum. And let's start with the game and this is our new character called Cassandra. And she gives Spongebob exactly what Spongebob always wants, a bubble maker. But this isn't just your average soapy water that you can blow bubbles with, this is magic. And he makes a bunch of wishes for his friends and this is where all hell breaks loose like patrick turning into a balloon and all his other friends being scattered throughout the universe dress up was the first trophy that i managed to get in this game and how i got it was by unlocking my first costume which you're going to need to rescue all your friends and it's given to you by the lovely cassandra and of course the first friend we have to rescue for spongebob is none other than mr krabs while here in the wild west i wanted to break the rules and get the next trophy called wanted sponge and how i unlocked this trophy is by going around and slapping 25 unsuspected NPCs. We then get enlisted to help the town and get their favorite drink, cactus juice. While in the middle of helping them, I managed to acquire my next trophy called Sponge Out of Harem's Way. And how I managed to acquire this trophy is by defeating 50 enemies while they attack me and taking absolutely no damage. And this next trophy that I got managed to fall in the same vein and it's called Bamboozled. And how I got this trophy is by being stealthy and bubbling one of my enemies without them seeing me first. And again with the bubbles, the next trophy I managed to get was called Bubble the Trouble. And you get this for bubbling up 10 tartar enemies and i never knew that's what they were firing out i thought it was something completely different and it turns out surprisingly to no one that mr krabs is running a scheme in this world the push that these enemies give you can be absolutely infuriating sometimes but they can also affect my other enemies which brings me to my next trophy called stunning performance and how i got this trophy is by making the jelly maker do the roar and push 50 of his own friends around the place deputy was the next trophy that i got and how i managed to get this trophy is by going through the wild west world and finding out where mr krabs was and bringing him home we got a new costume and it was spongebob's karate costume we swear cassandra just went through his wardrobe to get these but either way we needed a new costume to go on to the new world where we get to act and i suppose rescue our friend sandy it makes sense that squidward is directing considering handsome squidward productions hired him and now the costume makes sense because we're actually acting in an action movie which actually leads me on to the next trophy i got called boxing champion and how you get this trophy is by destroying 1000 tikis throughout the game they're the things that have the cosmic jelly in them and then i got another fighting trophy called the way of the sponge and how i managed to acquire this trophy is by karate kicking 100 enemies into the face and it looks like they're full of jelly too <laughs> has anyone ever seen a karate film where lads the size of houses charge at the main guy all in unison either way i still got my next trophy called movie star and how i got this trophy is by helping sandy complete the movie and then taking her back to Bikini Bottom. I hope the movie gets good reviews at least. And then we ditched the karate outfit for a new outfit, the pirate one. And we're not rescuing a person this time, we're actually rescuing Spongebob's house. And while here, I managed to get my next trophy called, is it a plane? Is it pizza? And how I got this trophy is being like a shitty Batman and gliding throughout the game with a pizza box for a thousand meters. While exploring this level, I managed to get my next trophy called, music enthusiast. And how you get this trophy is by listening to a world famous enemy perform a solo act in peace and quiet i didn't think that was possible with spongebob around <laughs> is every mr krabs just a crook in every spongebob universe at least this mr krabs makes sense to be a crook <laughs> and the next trophy that i managed to unlock was called hazardous and how i managed to unlock this trophy is by defeating 25 ninjellies using hazardous environmental objects oh look it it's more memes but aside from more memes i got more trophies and the next one i got was called first mate and how i managed to get this trophy is by going through all the level of pirate lagoon and rescuing my house and larry the lobster and a few others nothing like flipping some burgers to get your mind off the end of the universe and once i finished with that world i got a brand new costume and this one is just absolutely lazy and with the lazy costume we've on now we get to go trick-or-treating in rock bottom and not only that we have to go and find the big talker himself gary while trick-or-treating i actually managed to find more than just sweets i got my next trophy which was spongebob jelly pants and how i managed to unlock this trophy is by collecting and keeping 10,000 cosmic jelly pieces and this next trophy that I acquired was called red and shiny and you get this simply enough just by hitting 50 buttons regardless if it was a trophy or not if it's a big red button I'm going to hit it <laughs> why is he angry I wouldn't be if someone brought me a chocolate bar the next trophy I got was called scaredy pants and I would be mad now if I was Gary because they're taking me away from all my sweets because I'm a fat f and then I got a brand new outfit to go on to my next world and the next trophy I got in this world was called ooga ooga and you get this for doing 
doing none other than rescuing the best character in my opinion, Squidward. And who you have to rescue Squidward away from is none other than a prehistoric pearl. There is something kind of funny about Spongebob dressed as a prehistoric man telling Squidward he can't speak. And with that then, Spongebob has a new costume for the new world. While in this new world, I actually unlocked my next trophy called King of the Bubbles. And you get this trophy for trapping 100 enemies in your bubbles and my god, do they look so uncomfortable. The next trophy that I managed to get was called Spongenator and you get this for destroying any 500 objects throughout the world. No place better than the castle to destroy shit. This part of the mission was an absolute pain in the ass trying to dodge Twitchy the Witch. <laughs> but with her dealt with, I got my next trophy called King of the Castle. And how I got this trophy is by rescuing Pearl, or maybe in this case, rescuing the civilians away from Pearl <laughs> in the medieval sulfur field. And this is the final costume for the final world. There is something very, very unnerving about them paintings in this game. I think it's Patrick, to be honest. And the next trophy that I managed to secure was called Ride Rider. And how I got this trophy is by rescuing Balloon Patrick from the terrifying mascot Glovey Glove in the Jelly Glove world. <laughs> While collecting Patrick's sticky notes, hearing him say the same thing over and over again drove me nuts. Speaking of collecting things, the next trophy I collected was called Local Hero. And the way to get this trophy is by making sure Bikini Bottom does not get destroyed by the bad guy this game. The next trophy I was onto then was called Jellyfish Hunter. And this once again is one of the simplest trophies in this game. All you have to do is go around and scoop up 50 jellyfish. What in the sweet name of Jesus is going on here? <laughs> Moving swiftly on, the next trophy I managed to get was called a Volley King. And I managed to get this trophy by reflecting 10 projectiles back at a baby boom or whatever it's called. <laughs> once again back with Pearl to get the next trophy called Knight in Shining PJs. And how I got this trophy is by avoiding all of Twitchy's attacks and delivering all the cakes without being hit. The Flying Dutchman costume has been the most terrifying one in this game. <laughs> but it suits for this next trophy that I got called Dex Scrubber. And how you get this trophy is by returning to help the Dutchman reclaim his ship within 5 minutes and defeating Admiral Prawn. The next trophy I went after was called Jaws with Flaws. And you get this for doing the absolute overkill and getting rid of your enemies by using a borrower, which is that big snake looking thing with the shot and trolley in it. <laughs> While still destroying things, I actually managed to get my next trophy called Karate King. And how I got this trophy was by taking no damage and destroying Sandy's big hamster wheel thing. And the next trophy I managed to get my hands on was called Spring Cleaning. And how I acquired this trophy was by accident and all you have to do is suck up 100 enemies using the reef blower. On to the next trophy that I managed to get and it was called Splash Zone. And you get this for using one of Glovey's attacks against the enemies that spawn around you and letting him defeat 20 of them with it. I know I wouldn't like to walk in that stuff. And this next trophy I managed to get was called Pet You Didn't See That Coming. And how you get this trophy is by avoiding Gary's gaze as you're trying to bring him back home. And something interesting happened here. <laughs> he just kind of disappeared when I was running up the stairs. And then I was on to the next trophy, which was called Want to See Me Do That Again? And how you get this trophy is by doing absolutely everything throughout every level and then defeating the final boss. Which leads me on to my next trophy, which was called Dehydrated. And you get this trophy for beating all of Pom Pom, which is a prehistoric pearl's attacks while you're trying to free Squidward. And the next trophy I got was called The Good, The Bad, and The Krabby. And how I got this trophy was by chasing down Mr. Krabs once again in under three minutes while on the train. And this leads on to the next trophy, which was called Tentacle Dodger. And how you do this is by dodging every attack the final boss has for you. And the next trophy that I managed to acquire was called Wrath Tub. And how you get this trophy is by using the big fellow with the bathtub to destroy 25 of your enemies. The next trophy I got wasn't as graphic sounding and it's called Sponge Lock Holmes Pants. And how you get this trophy is, follow me here, collecting eight golden spatulas scattered throughout the whole game. How cool would it be if you unlocked a costume and it came with like a special ability like this one for speed? Speaking of costumes, the next trophy I got was called Fashion Hunter. And how I acquired this trophy is by unlocking every costume in the game, even though they're all just cosmetic. On to destroying enemies once again, and I got my next trophy called Return to Sender. And how I got this trophy was by knocking other enemies into those big, ugly looking jelly blob things. <laughs> and still destroying enemies, the next trophy I managed to get was called Friendly Fire. And how I got this trophy is by using one of the baby boomers to throw his bombs at the big fellow with the bathtub. Beach Spinner was the next trophy I went for. And I got this trophy just by simply spinning six umbrellas on the beach. And the second last trophy I went for was called Bouncy Bob. And how I got this trophy was by bouncing on a bounce pad 10 times in a row. And with that last trophy got, I finally got the platinum trophy for the game. Which means it's the end of the video and I hope all of you enjoyed and I also hope to see you in the next one. Have a good day and goodbye.